Hi, telemarketing scripts are aimed to help the uncomfortable get comfortable and the poor get good. They really do either. Today, I'm gonna to show you a number of telemarketing scripts, summarize them and make one big change to that summarized set to help you get more effective at uh, telemarketing for complex B2B selling. Funnel Vision is brought to you by Math Marketing, creators of the Funnel Plan. Math Marketing is the source of the one, two, three of B2B. I've reviewed practical recommendations from five sites and summarised them. And I found generally that they tended to be all about the manipulation, trying to manage a conversation. In complex B2B, there are some really important elements going on for the buyer that the seller needs to understand and take cognizance of and build a strategy around. I believe a telemarketing script should be a flow, not a script at all. And it's of course not about selling the product, but it's also not about selling you or the company. It's about selling the next step and the next step is an exploratory meeting. Now, if that's true, if genuinely the next step is an exploratory meeting, then you have to earn an exploratory meeting, which means you need to surface an issue that you're an expert at solving. I'll show you how to do that when we summarize these articles. So here's how I see all of that coming together. The first is from Kathy Sisk. Um, she's the president and founder of Kathy Sisk Enterprises. 12 steps, found this quite practical. Um, let's skip the preamble, introduction, reference, request for time, purpose of the call, probe, restate, features and benefits, get a reaction, trial close, objections, close for an appointment, and then post close. Very practical steps, if a little dry. Uh, Keith Rosen from Profit Builders, cold calling. Now, interesting, they're both about cold calling, and um, I've taken the same spin largely off the back of the fact that um, the ones I looked at here were, la were largely, although they, called, they were called telemarketing, they really are cold calling. Um, now, this is a sample of a cold calling script that uh, recommends um, an outline, a bit hard to extract from this website, so we had to go through and pull it out. But an opening statement, state your compelling reason, uh, which is the end result of the benefit you offer, good enough, needs analysis, summarize and confirm, finish by confirming details. Okay, good enough. Uh, telemarketing scripts, no author named, the site is Buzztree, um, and quite a practical script. Um, arguing that even sales, seasoned salespeople are put off by cold calling, couldn't agree more. It goes back to the point I made earlier that most receivers of calls have received more calls than you've ever made, so they're better at it than you are. Um, and it goes from hi to an opening statement, uh, I am uh, great, uh, I'm sure you're busy, I want to respect your time, and then it states the compelling reason and asks for permission to continue with the call. Now, would you be comfortable spending just a few minutes with me if I stick to my timetable? All valid. I don't disagree with anything that he said. I'm gonna argue in a moment, it's not quite good enough, but certainly there's nothing I disagree with in the flow at all. Let's take a look now at Bill Nasser from Phoneware. He's got some practical steps. Um, he begins with a point with which I agree, understand the limitations, three to 15% of calls will succeed. Yeah, that's, that's confronting, but good advice. Um, he has some specific recommendations. Write the script with the telemarketer's experience in mind. Good advice. Use a grid to facilitate fluidity. Again, I agree. Include five key elements or areas within the script. Ask the caller questions. Differentiate yourself, ensure a call to action, introduce the purpose. I want to take a look at one more which was super shared. Unfortunately, I couldn't conclude anything because it's just a sales page for uh, a book. Um, and I wanted to share that because it was the most, the most shared of the lot uh, on social media, but it's just a sales page on a great book. So that's what I could conclude 
from looking at others who've blogged about uh, this same topic of telemarketing scripts. You need to develop a well thought out script that the caller can use. Think about why recipients say no and craft a script to avoid no and encourage yes type interactions. Introduce the value early and so the general format recommended from these articles is an introduction, a reason for calling, how the product can help the listener, repeat key information back and conclude with a call to action. Now I wasn't thrilled with that so I looked also at our own site to see basically what we'd said previously in blogs and I found an old summary from our blog there that I think still makes sense. Key from that is that you need to follow leads up quickly and there's some real uh, maths around how quickly you need to follow them up. Uh, build a working best practice framework and test hundreds of hypotheses that you can A-B test to improve that framework. Remember that the buyers normally receive more calls than you make, so they're way better at this. Don't try and outsmart them. So we need a flow for telling marketing scripts that allows a bit of personality, gets the value in early, respects that you have some value that they may not be looking for, so that you need to talk, but recognises that they are more expert at you at this game. Here's my take on what we actually need telling marketing scripts to do. Set up a process that you can learn from, follow, master, measure and improve. Now all of those elements are important. Learn from, so it's got to be a good process already that you can follow so it's not too detailed. One that you can master, one that you can measure, and the measurement's obviously important, and then improve your own process. Follow up as fast as humanly possible. Do your research on the individual company and the caller first. Look at their website, look at their LinkedIn profiles. Look at competitors' websites and LinkedIn profiles as well. Make your transition from who the hell is this to I need to allow this call as compelling and as fast as you can. Simply nothing matters more than this. You need to earn the right to the next two minutes. Remember you've interrupted them, you need to get from that interrupt to I'm going to put up with this call. And frankly that's all you're going to get, but you need to get to it quickly. And then we need to transition from all right, let's talk to I'd like to meet. Now that's another big transition. You've got two big transitions. Do I even accept this call and then do I want to meet? So. The second transition has to be equally compelling, logical and quick. Consider, you know, so this is the case that I'm assuming that, and you can then insert your gap or its cause or its consequence, is having an impact. Tell me a little about how that's playing out. Now clearly if you mention a gap that's unlikely to play out, then you've done your homework badly. I've seen, now state how you've seen this elsewhere and don't make that up. Evidence your knowledge and ways to fill the, go the gap and then ask for an exploratory meeting. Let me try that as a script. And I'm going to leave it up on the screen because I want you to see this word for word. John, this is Hugh McFarlane from Math Marketing. The reason for my call is I saw that you're planning for a launch of your new data integration service simultaneously in five markets. I have to imagine you're concerned about having a plan that will work across those markets and having a whole team, marketing as well as sales, from the five regions bought into the plan. I've got a lot of experience building multi-stakeholder go-to-market plans in 20 countries. I've seen a few blow-ups, but mostly I've just seen underwarming results. I've got an idea on how to possibly help you avoid some of those more common disconnects. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Now that was long. You might find with testing you need it to be shorter. You might, from your own personality, need it to be different. The point that I was making with that script is that I needed to get an issue to the surface that wasn't in the surface because the guy was doing his email, he was doing something else other than my call, to evidence my knowledge but I need to earn the right to ask the questions rather than just may I ask you. That's not compelling enough because they're busy. Cute techniques that get people nodding I don't disagree with but again it's all about manipulation and in sophisticated B2B manipulation rarely works. What does work is bringing to the surface, finding and then bringing to the surface an issue that they weren't focused on that you are a world expert at. 
and in earning the right to an exploratory about that conversation. That means homework and it means getting that issue on the table quickly, not about cute telemarketing scripts. If you got value out of this blog, I'm delighted that that's the case. If you haven't already, can I ask you to subscribe or invite you to subscribe because that way you'll hear about these first. We send out a, an email, whether you subscribe at mathmarketing.com forward slash blog, we'll send you a quick summary email that you can choose to read if it makes sense. You can also subscribe at uh, youtube.com uh, forward slash mathmarketing and their YouTube will let you know when we've posted. You can get these updates uh, really quickly that way. Now if you have already, I wonder if you have a colleague who'd get value out of this. Would you mind sharing it? It really helps us to help them. Uh, perhaps you could do that now and share this blog or share one of those links uh, with that colleague. Now if you've done both of those, I have a third request. But it's only relevant if you've done both of those other things. That is, what would you like me to cover? You know that we do research. I put a math marketing spin on it. If you're getting value out of that dialogue and that research and that work, then tell me what you'd like us to take a look at. I'm very happy to be led. Lots more next week. Until then, may your funnel be full and always flowing.